Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Now, in this video, I'll be talking about how to modify or using automation to modify multiple files using AI uh, with ChatGPT. So, let me just explain what, what we're going to be doing here. Automate editing, editing multiple text files using AI, just chat GPT. Right, and uh, Python. Right, so what we will do is we're going to be generating the code from the chat GPT and pasting that code into the Python tool. And then we'll run the code to modify multiple ex uh, text files within our OS, uh, within our file system. Okay, so the tools that we will use. will be one chat GPT and two Thony which is um, a Python uh, development tool right so you don't need to have any um, uh, programming knowledge you don't have to have any knowledge of Python uh, you don't have to have any kind of previous programming background or technical background to do this all you need to do is basically copying uh, writing the right prompt and um, and then we will copy the uh, the output uh, from the prompt into the Python development environment and running it. Okay, so let me just explain what we're going to be doing here. Okay, so I have these uh, Excel these text files here, uh, three different text files, and each one of them contains a bunch of text. I write some sentences on it. Now I notice here the first letter of each sentence is actually in lowercase, right? Here's one in lowercase, here's one in lowercase, this is also in lowercase, and this is also in lowercase. It's the same thing for all these different files, right? This is also lowercase, the first letter of every sentence is lowercase and so on, right? So what I want to be able to do, I want to be able to automate to change or modify the files to or these sentences to have uppercase on every word in the beginning of the sentence for all three different files at the same time right so the the, the advantage here i can use an automation tool for example the uh, python automation tool which is using chat gpt prompt and be able to generate the code and then run it in python to automate this process for me so this is useful if you have like 50 files or 60 files and each one of them contains like uh, lowercase letters in, in different sentences and you want to be able to automate uh, the uh, making them all in uppercase in a single task or in a single method so that's what we're going to be doing here right so changing the um, lower case letters from every word that is at the start of every sentence right so that's our objective I want to be able to change the lowercase letters and make the uppercase in a single task using chat GPT okay so step one we're going to go to chat GPT So this is my chat GPT right here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, get the right prompt for this. So the prompt which I want to be able to use is this one right here. I'll, I'll, put a co I'll copy it in the description. You can simply copy it from here and go to chat GPT and um, type the prompt or enter the prompt right there. And so the prompt is I have multiple text files in a folder named files. Each text file contains text, but the sentences start with a lowercase letter. I want to convert the first letter of each sentence starting with the first sentence of each file to uppercase. Write me a Python script for that. Okay, so very important point here. This is the files folder, right? Make sure um, the folder name that you have stored in your, uh, in your file system 
matches the spelling of the fo folder in which you will enter into ChatGPT prompt because it's going to actually use that and put it in the actual source code or in your code, okay? So very important point, make sure that this matches the file name folder that you have stored in your file system, okay? I'll hit enter and then uh, ChatGPT is going to be using the AI engine to generate the code for me. Okay, that's the whole code. And then it also includes description or um, explanation about what the code does on each line, which is very useful if you want to learn how to, uh, how things are working behind the scenes, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and copy the code. And I'll paste it in uh, uh, into my Python, the Thony tool, right? So I'll paste it right here. So I have a new lecture called Lecture 7, and I'll paste the code right here, okay? And then I will save it, Control-S to save it. I'll get Lecture 7 right here. And then I will go ahead and hit um, uh, Execute or Run. So now it gave me this. The first letter of each sentence in all text files has been capitalized, okay? So it means it's done. Now, now how can I go and verify? I can simply go to my uh, files folder right here and I'll click on it just to make sure it, it actually worked. The first letter, now it's T, the first letter is also T and so on. If I want to double check even further, I can go to my file explorer, go to my folders right here, each file, open it and check. That's right. The first letter now has been capitalized and now it's in uppercase and it's solved that problem for everything for every single file. Let's check the second file, right? The first letter, again, is capitalized for every single file, or for every single word beginning on the each sentence of the file, okay? It's a very simple way to be able to automate modifying different text files uh, using scripts and using Python uh, code for you to be able to do that in a single task. It's a, it's a powerful way to automate those tasks instead of going to every single file and doing it manually, right? So. And this is useful if you have like multiple files, let's say you have like 50 or 20 or 25 files. Each one of them have different letters or uppercase, lowercase, or they're mixed up and you want to be able to do it in one shot. You, uh, notice how easy that was. All we did was getting the right code, the prompt into ChatGPT and getting the code and pasting it into the Python development environment and running the code and looking at the results and going and it does its thing and then it automatically runs it um, for you to check the file automatically okay so if you like this video let me uh, let me know uh, just hit the like button and uh, let me know if you have questions or comments in the comments I'll try to answer them as quick as I can all right thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video